All right, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on standing wave ratio and um, how it can affect your transmitting. And I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I did want to show you an SWR meter. And I've got an automatic antenna tuner down here. And so the way this works is um, just probably right outside of the picture, you can probably see the bottom of it, is my HF radio. And it's set up for 20 meters right now. I have coax coming out of the back of this radio, going into this SWR meter, then coming out of the SWR meter into the antenna tuner. Then from the antenna tuner, actually I have two antennas attached to this. Um, and so I'm going to pick the one that's closest to 20 meters right now. So uh, it should be tuned up. So I've got the radio set in AM mode and I've turned the power down a little bit. Um, because what I'd like to get is none of that signal reflected back into the radio. But if there is, what I'd like to do is um, not have a whole bunch of power reflected back into the radio because it can damage things. Now, most modern radios have a protection circuit to keep you from doing that, but it's one of those things that I just like to not dump a bunch of power back into my radio. So, got it set up on AM. What we're going to watch is there's these two needles here. And, we're, and I don't know if you can see, but there's like these little red lines going up here. Um, and so like one is way down here, and then it goes up, and then two is like right about there, and so on. And the red lines are actually our SWR, our standing wave ratio. So I basically want the cross, where these two lines cross, to be as close to one as I can. Uh, this needle over here is going to go up and that's going to be our forward power and this needle is going to go up and be our reflected power and so let's see i bumped something so it's very angry at me but you can see that if i do this i'm about 1.8 or so a 1 to 1.8 and if you look down here i've got a power meter and an swr uh little digital meter and you can see it's approximately the same and let's see uh, peak envelope power you kind of see the same thing um, and then I've got different ranges so if I had an amplifier I could go up to a higher power range or to a lower power range but just to show you how all this works this one's pretty well set up let's say I switch bands I go over here now I'm on 40 meters I'm going to switch antennas to my 40 meter antenna. And you're going to see that this doesn't match up perfectly. So I'm going to get off of those some folks talking there. So I'm going to go a little bit farther up. And when I transmit, you're going to hear this thing clicking a bunch. And it's basically adjusting capacitors and inductors uh, internally to try to match that SWR. So as I go, and I actually found it quite quickly. So, um, but if I were to say go to 15 meters, do this again. Oops, I guess at the AM. You can see the SWR moving as we adjust capacitors and inductors. And it found a match. Sometimes it won't. If the antenna is really bad, it won't find a match. So, I just wanted to show you that. Just a little, little insight on how antennas work or how SWR and antenna tuners work. Uh, you can also get this as a manual box. And I'm gonna move this thing up here. I have one up here for my 10 meter rig where I can manually go and adjust the inductance and the uh, capacitance and such. And uh, so that's another way to do it. But this one down here does it automatically. So there you go.